Cog. We are back today. We are again. We are here again. Yep. Tired of seeing us yet? Oh well. <laughs> I swear today though feels like deja vu. Groundhogish. Groundhogish. But oh well, I don't know what it is. Uh, All right. All right. So we are getting ready for where we are in the smack dab middle of our uh, October Fest. Fest. It is Wednesday. So what is it? No. Yeah. Hump day. Uh, Quasimodo. Hump day. Gotta get ready for October. Not hump day. Hump day. But it, we're getting ready, so we're still in hump day. But hump day sounds better. Hump day. Next month. Next month. No, gotta get ready. We gotta get ready for all that scary stuff. Uh, hump day. Okay. Ruin it. Oh, no. It's awesomeness. <laughs> all right. So. Headlines today. Oh, do you have some good ones? I do, I do, I do. Uh, being that it's Oktoberfest week, uh, I thought, what world records have been set because of Oktoberfest? Oh. So, headline numero uno. No, eins. 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 Okay. Is, what is the world record for eating a bratwurst? Which are bigger than hot dogs, just so you know. Well, you know, we talked about the Joey Chestnut guy, and he eats like 60 or 70 yep. hot dogs. Hot dogs. So, but a bratwurst is bigger. Bigger. Uh, I got to go with like 39. 39. So, a gentleman by the name of Jeffrey Esper has the world, the Guinness World Record for the most bratwurst eating in a 10 minute span. 10 minutes. 76. 76? So, I'm assuming there's no bread involved to be able to eat 76 of those. Because in the hot dog eating contest, you have to eat the bread, too. Yeah. 76 bratwurst. Bratwurst are big, guys. They're big. They're the worst. 76. That is impressive. I could probably put down three <laughs> before I'm full, maybe. <laughs> That's barf. Yeah. Oh, that does some smelly barf. You know? Gosh, I wish they made like a shoe or something that would protect you from vomit. But hey, that's something. No, that's, I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Those yeah. things don't happen. Those don't happen. But seventy-six. That is either scary or impressive. Unlike your throat. Unlike my throat. <laughs> so, headline number two. So, continuing with the world records. What is the world record for beer drinking? Oh, is it? Is it time? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, no. No. It's a uh, number of beers they do and how fast you can do it. Oh. Because because they don't do a lot, I don't think, because it could kill you if you drink too much alcohol. So they probably just alcohol assign. Poisoning. Yeah. So they probably just assign a number and that's what you have to drink. So uh, the world record I looked up, but the biggest one I could find was for seven pints. Seven pints. Seven pints of beer. A that's a lot of beer. That is a lot of beer. A gentleman by the name of Peter Dowdswell did seven pints in 16.4 seconds. That's impressive. He must have just poured them down, just opened wide and poured. Seven pints in 16 I'm seconds. I'm sorry, folks. Not many times I'm at a loss for words, but that's a lot of beer. So a, a pint beer. is 16 ounces. Yeah. A bottle of beer is 12 ounces, mm -hmm. so it's like, you know. Yeah, so seven bottles of beer in 16 seconds. So. Pull, um, no, it'll probably be about eight bottles of beer, eight or nine bottles of beer, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. That's impressive. That's impressive. That's impressive. That's impressive. So then I was just curious, I say, well, they had another category. How many pints you can drink in a three hour span? Once again, one by Peter Downswell. 90 pints in three 90? hours. 90? 90 pints in three hours. So 90, that, that's over 100 bottles of beer in a three hour period. Well, you know, Wade Boggs did 100 cans of, bottle, cans of beer on a flight from Boston to California. So it's possible. That's like three quarters of a keg of beer. Three quarters of a keg of beer, yes. Hey, but if Wade Boggs can do it, who's one of the greatest American athletes ever, uh, he did that in the 80s. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's a true story. From a flight from Boston to, I think they were going to Oakland, maybe, uh, to play a game, uh, he, he did 100 beers. How did he play the next day, though? He, I think he went like two for four or something like that. Come on, that's the guy that ate a bucket of chicken before every game. 
This is true. Yeah, yeah, man. I wonder what he looks like now. Still healthy. Really? Yeah, still real healthy. Yep, fit. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so 90 pints though. So then I did, they had a funny one too. They did how many pints you could drink upside down? How many? Eight pints upside down. Upside down? How do you? Yeah, well, I don't know. It's pretty impressive. Also won by Peter Dowdswell. Eight pints upside down in 55 seconds. So we are doing our word of the day though. Oh yes, word Ooh. of the day. So we got Vicom, and now the next word. The next word in it. Ick. <laughs> ick. We call me ick. We call me ick. So ick is the next word. So make sure you guys write that down because it'll be five words that'll have a saying that will, on Friday, you have to go to Gabrielle, let her know mm -hmm. what the saying is. It doesn't, the pronunciation does not have to be perfect, guys, because we're probably not saying it right either. But we need a good ick. <laughs> yeah. And you'll get put in for a cool drawing, a drawing for a cool prize, okay? Yeah. So the word of the day today is ick. He's getting pretty good at it. Yes. All right, so um, other news that we do have today is the job fair is going on that we've been preparing for for about a week and a half. Yes. Uh, a few of your peers are going to a job fair today with Zach. Uh, I want to wish them all good luck. Uh, and hopefully somebody gets some out and they can kind of maybe give us some feedback on how the experience was. Yeah, maybe a couple of them will come back with jobs. jobs yeah, okay. or some leads or Way. something, yeah. Yeah, because it is seasonal hiring time, guys. So if you are somebody who is ready to work and you're looking for something, there are a lot of seasonal things out. So go see Mr. Wise um, and don't go <laughs> to him, okay? But good luck at the job fair today. All right, so we gotta get a visit with our friends a little bit today, I think. On, Are they on hot friends? day? <laughs> hot day! I don't know. You're starting to not be friends with them anymore. Uh, <laughs> so first off is our national day of with Fräulein Me. Fräulein Me. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, and you know what day that is, right? It's Wednesday, September the 27th. <laughs> you thought I was going to say it's hump day. Oh, yes, I might have fooled you. Probably not, but I got a kick out of it. That's all that counts right now. <laughs> okay, enough of my silly self, but it is Wednesday. It is hump day. And, you know, i kind of on a, a food kick right now here. So today's national day is National Chocolate Milk Day. Mm -hmm. Good old chocolate milk. I think I've told the story before. We had chocolate milk. I think I did a couple years ago. But it's always a good story. I tell it all the time, even if you've forgotten it. My best girlfriend growing up, after my uh, family sold the ranch and we moved into town, lots of kids that when I was there that had not been in the country, I didn't know anything about cows and stuff. I grew up on dairy until I was, you know, older. I told her that the brown cows, they gave chocolate milk. And the black and white cows gave the white milk. So the nice brown Jersey cows were the ones that gave the chocolate milk. She believed it. I had her going for quite a few years. I did. Nobody told her not until one day there was a bunch of us and we were going on a trip and we were on a bus. We were on the church bus and we were going on a trip and we were, I don't know, going the coast or something like that and there was a big dairy. And she goes, oh, well, look, all those brown cows. Those are all the cows that give us chocolate milk. And everybody turned around and looked at her like, what is she on? That's not it. She goes, yeah, it is. Gabrielle grew up on a dairy and she says, those are the cows that give chocolate milk and everybody started making fun of her and she goes you mean I I've been wrong all these years it doesn't happen like that and we just laughed and we said no it doesn't happen like that she thought I pulled a really good one all over her but then after a while she realized how stupid it made her look <laughs> still to this day we laugh about it I send her pictures and memes of brown cows <laughs> and I said I always say have you had any chocolate milk lately? 
So those are one of those things that you get to take to the grave with you with some of you have known for a very long time, but it was fun. We got away with it for quite a while. Now nobody would think that, you know, but it was fun. It was a good funny. So no, brown cows do not give chocolate milk. All cows give regular old milk. You got to put the Hershey syrup in there to get your chocolate milk, right? And the more the better. So if you like chocolate milk, you don't want to make it. You can already buy it already made, but some good milk and some Hershey syrup in it. You got yourself some chocolate milk. So everybody have a great day and have a glass of chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk is one of my favorite things in the world. Did you know chocolate milk is actually one of the best things you could have after working out? It replaces everything. But what do you consider a workout? Like what are you? Some. Well, what I do is work out where you sweat a lot you and sweat, you yeah. strain yourself, not just going walk around the block or anything. Yeah. Unless you're it. unless you're doing some speed walking or something. Yeah. But you know, saying I lifted some weights. That's not working out. No. Drink you, a half a gallon of chocolate milk. Yeah, and it shouldn't be a half a gallon. It should just be one of the little bottles of it. But, you know, if you're lifting weights for like an hour, heavy lifting, then you want to do it because it will help you replace your muscle and build muscle. Yum. See? Yep. Those brown cows know where it's yep. at. Brown cows know how. <laughs> well, yeah. All right. So next we got work-related stuff with the bearded wonder himself, Zach. Work-related work stuff, stuff with Zach. Zach. And I hope you're doing good and work-related stuff with Zach. So, teamwork, guys. We're going to talk about teamwork today. Teamwork, the three C's, communication, collaboration, coordination. Um, these are uh, the three C's in a lot of companies that they use. Uh, communication is very important when it comes to teamwork. Uh, collaboration is obviously getting together with your team members to find out what, uh, basically what what, what tasks. Um, also, to uh, and and then coordinating. You know who needs to do what and get what done and when and where and all that fun stuff. But also, too, you guys, one thing about teamwork to remember: sometimes teamwork isn't always necessarily working side by side. Somebody. Sometimes being part of the team is just accomplishing your job, right? So sometimes you might feel like, oh, I'm the only one in this aisle putting this stuff up every day. Well, as part of a big team, that is your one job to help that team out. So even though sometimes it can feel a little thankless and feel like you're left out there on the island, remember, you're part of a bigger thing, which is the team, and you're part of helping that team by completing your own tasks. Obviously, if there's time permitting or your boss possibly, you know, might come up and say, can you assist so-and-so because maybe it's a priority, you know, that's teamwork as well. But like I said, sometimes teamwork is simply doing your job and getting that done. All right, you guys, so remember that. Remember the three C's. Communication, collaboration, and coordination. All right, guys, we're out of here. Bye. Work related stuff, stuff, stuff with Zach. 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 Oh, wow, Zach, you always have some good stuff. Uh, you know, uh, hey, listen to Zach. Zach knows what he's talking about. If you guys want to get some uh, employment out there, you know, go see him. Okay, because he does know. He has lots of connections. And hopefully it pays off for you too. Yeah, it hopefully pays off. Good luck again, guys. Okay, so, you know, that's pretty much our morning uh, routine today. You know, it's Wednesday. We'll have uh, 
alive today. Don't know who will do it because Zach will not be here. He'll be at the job fair. We'll figure it out. We'll do something fun. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do something fun. Okay, so guys, have fun today. And it is Oktoberfest. And remember our phrase. It's V call it. And once again, happy hump day. Hump day. It's brewing it, folks. It's brewing it. All right, guys. See you tomorrow on the Morning Routine.